Worcester Railers hosting the Allen Americans right here at the DCU Center for the first ever time in franchise history. Cam McGuire here joined with Railers general manager and head coach David Cunniff. Well, coach, back-to-back uh, -back wins, and uh, we had talked about it Saturday night, allowing two goals in the third period. Maybe let off the gas a little bit, a little disappointed, but boy, Sunday it seemed like the foot was on the gas the whole game. Yeah, yeah, we played hard. And, and you know, the big thing on Sunday was we kept, we continued to make plays. You know, when you're up by a goal, you start to be, you know, guys start to be a little bit safe. And, you know, we, we uh, let's be honest, we've been struggling a little bit down the stretch here before those two wins. So, you know, guys squeezing the stick just a little bit. So it was nice to, nice to be able to encourage them to make plays, to keep playing the same way. They were playing great. Why change? Obviously, back-to-back -back wins, too. It has to feel nice to uh, see some of the hard work pay off over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, I can't. It's it's all the guys, man. They played so hard. They competed. They, you know, they they're playing within themselves. And you know, I think I think part of it is you're just not. Wor they're working a little bit smarter than they were. You know, um, they work so darn hard. This group and they compete so hard. But uh, you know, sometimes they run out of position trying to work or recover a puck or four check. When you know, if the guy has total possession, you might have to be a little bit more controlled. Um, so I think they're figuring that out, and I'm just proud of their, their compete. Like the guys, they stuck up for each other. There was some shenanigans going on, and it was nice to see Murray go in and stick up oh, for yeah. Doherty. Yeah. And obviously, Turk does. You know, they uh, they're a group that looks looks after each other, and I'm really proud of them for that. Well, Coach, prior to you taking over, the Railers just had one shorthanded goal in 15 games. They now have five over the last eight games. Is there something you've implemented over since you've been here? Can you tell us why uh, we've seen the surplus of shorties over the last couple of games? I think it's just, you know, we've kind of just released the hounds, you know. Yeah. We got, uh, you know, we're lucky. I have I have some great, great, you know, players on our team. And, uh, you know, we just, we, they're just, I let them kind of just pressure if they want to pressure, and if uh, if they feel like they can't get there, they go. They they take their time. They stay above it. They try to make sure that the the power play comes through them. But that being said, if they see numbers and they can, they have the green light to put some pressure up ice. And you know what they've done, and maybe it's just taking some games to do it. But they're starting to really read off each other. I've tried to keep the pairs together. So you know you have Pisey and yeah. um, and JST yeah. that are just those two guys. Are, they're both very long. I mean they're both great hockey players. Yeah. Let's not kid ourselves. So they're just great long hockey players that can steal a puck or strip a guy, and uh, they read off each other so well. And and obviously the D are involved in that too. It's just not the two of them. It's uh it's it's Dante. It's it's um it's it's now uh, Walshy. It's you know it's go down the yeah list, Callen. Right? Yeah, it's just a little bit of everyone. Painter's done such a great job on the PK with his face. -off wins and just his compete level it's it's just fun to watch these guys well Railers captain Barry Almeida he was back in the lineup last weekend after missing seven games but you guys kept him out on Sunday can you tell us about that decision to hold Barry off on Sunday yeah I had some trouble with the video the night before so I figured <laughs> I'd have my assistant coach come back and help me out no Barry uh you know it's just basically uh, precautionary you know Barry he competes so hard and he's a guy that you really have to protect he you know he 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 was upset that he got an x-ray and that seeing that he had a broken leg yeah. he would have played that next night uh when I got here so luckily for me you know uh unfortunately for him but you know I should say like you know unfortunately for me too because obviously Barry's a great player we really want him on the ice but um you know, it was just precautionary. You know, we had uh, we had played three. You know, to play three and three is a lot on anybody. He had just started skating that week, and uh, you know, the first day or two was non-contact. So, um, you know, I just I'm just trying to protect him because he is a warrior. He plays hard. He only knows one way, and that's all out. So he's a guy that we have to kind of pull the reins back on a little bit, and um, you know, we'll let him go again tonight. Looking at Allen here tonight, 41 points, tied for first in all of the ECHL. And uh, for you and for the rest of the Railers, haven't seen Allen yet this season. But for a lot of teams that you've seen over the handful of games, it's your first time seeing them. Does the preparation change at all heading into tonight's game, or is it just another game? It's, you know, it's another game. Actually, you know, I was in Iowa last year, so this is their yeah. affiliate. So I know some of the guys. Uh, I'm probably more familiar with this team than I am any other team yeah. in the league, really. But, um, you know, there's some really good players like, uh, you know, they got Jack Sadak, they got Tim Sheehy. Um, they've, you know, they're just a, they're just a good all around team. They and they, you know, I really respect their coach. Steve Martinson does a great job. He's won at this level. He's he's uh, he's a winner. He's won 10 championships in like 20 years or something like that. That's pretty good. You know, 50 percent. Uh, 
you know, championship winning seasons. Um, you know, but that being said, we just have to play our game. Like, it doesn't really matter who we play. Um, we're trying to still figure out what we can do and uh, how, how we can, you know, play a 60 minute game the right way, you know, defensively with the puck, you know, just in all assets, all facets of the game. We just, we're trying to fine tune our own game, basically. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck tonight. Thanks.